Hey everybody, my name is Mo Espinosa, also known as Drum Cell, and I'm here with DJS Pro Audio and Lighting, showing you some features and functions inside a tractor, scratched by native instruments that um, I find helpful and useful um, when using out to do more creative DJ. So um, one of the first topics that we're going to go ahead and cover is um, beat grid editing and cue points. Um, this stuff is extremely useful to 100% match up your BPMs um, with Tractor in order to use functions like the effects processors on the fly loop points and uh, some of the other beat jumping stuff. So um, let's go ahead and jump into it right now. Tractor, basically, whenever you load your import, your collection into um, Tractor, what it does is it will automatically scan each individual track and give it a BPM. Um, you can notice that in here in my BPM list that uh, we have, like, for instance, uh, this track Hell Yeah by Velcro is 127 BPMs, and there's a percentage sign to the right of it. Basically, what that percentage sign means is how accurate to the original BPM that Tractor thinks the, the beat is. Um, you can see that some of the other ones that say 100% were more successful in the analyzation process. What we'll go ahead and do is we're going to load up one of the tracks that are, you know, not exactly on spot with a perfect BPM and fine tune them um, using the BPM grids and grid points inside of Tractor. So I'm going to go ahead and load up this track Hell Yeah to my deck A on the left side of Tractor. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, find one of the most uh, predominant, you know, first kick drums of the beat or something like that, that we can go ahead and lay our first cue point down. Now, um, briefly before I jump into that, I like to separate Tractor into three particular um, segments. Um, the first segment would be this entire top area right here, which would be the detail section. And the detail section is 100% customizable so that you can go ahead and insert um, specific functions in there and uh, go ahead and customize it to look however you want. The, section, the next section would be the deck section, where obviously your tracks are going to be loaded to. And then the third section would be your browser, where you can go ahead and browse your playlist and select particular songs. So um, to go back into the detail section, I'm going to show you how I can go ahead and insert um, these sections. So for uh, grid editing, the first thing that I'm going to want to have would be the Q editor. And I'm going to also want to insert in the BPM function. Now, to uh, assign this, this list here, all you need to do is uh, right-click in any blank space in the details section to get the list. Um, I'm also going to insert a mode button. And just to briefly go over what mode does, is in mode we have um, three different kinds. We have a snap mode, a CD mode, and vinyl mode. And just to show you which each one of those modes do, um, vinyl mode allows you to scrub through the audio very similar to using a, a regular turntable record. You can actually see where I can grab the whale file and move that around. And uh, CD mode works a lot like a CD turntable where basically you get kind of like a stutter whenever you uh, snap to a particular place into the track. Um, what I find most useful for beat grids is the snap mode. And with snap mode, what it does is every time I click on a kick drum or any peak in the wave file, it's going to go ahead and snap and stay there. So um, in this track right here, this first segment seems to be more of like an intro, and you can see where the kick drum comes into the first point of the track. So I'm going to go ahead and snap there. Now I'm going to go back up to the cue editor. And in the cue editor, when I drop this little arrow down here, I have a list of different types of cue points. I have floating cue point, um, a regular cue point, um, in, out, load, and grid. In this uh, particular section, I'm going to go ahead and just focus on the grid point. So I'm going to select grid. And you'll notice that when I drop a grid marker in there, um, it puts this white cue point right here in the beginning of the track. Now, um, what a grid point is, is beat grids is a grid of equally spaced reference lines representing quarter notes or beats. So um, now that I have this particular grid point here, you can see where it lines up these white lines um, perfectly in sync with the rest of the beats in the track. Now, um, sometimes you need to fine tune those grid points a little bit so that it lines up perfectly. Now, um, what I like to do is once I insert a grid point right here in the beginning, I like to scan through the track and make sure that those lines are still lining up perfectly with all the other segments inside the track. So um, what seems to be the most useful is if you move to the end of the track. Now, this one seems to be pretty good on the fly as I already done it, but sometimes you'll notice that uh, 